what's up simply sasha flow for here i'm back and i'm better than ever and i'm so excited to be filming for you guys i just don't know what to do with myself i'm like <laughs> like yeah and yeah so <laughs> i've been gone i've been you know doing the whole marriage thing i got married i went on the honeymoon when i came back had to get readjusted and settled with my husband you know and stuff like that that's crazy i have a husband now it's still weird to say sometimes we're still fresh y'all we're still fresh but i'm so excited to be filming for you guys so today's video is going to be about five things that changed once i became a wife or once we started living together and I'll be really interested to know if these five things happen to you when you start living with your significant other or yeah. But, um, yeah, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. Hit the like button. We're going to be pumping out new videos and all that jazz. We're going to go ahead and get straight into the video. Sorry if that intro was a little shaky. You know, I haven't filmed in a couple months, so yeah. Um, we're just gonna keep on rolling. Uh, also apologize if you hear my family, I have a couple family members over, if they get a little loud, my apologies. So, so the first thing that I noticed once I became a wife was, I do not have as much alone time anymore than when we were not married, which obviously that is gonna change, but I was big on like having my alone time, not being around people. Um, I feel like that's kind of how I recharged is being alone, kind of a little bit of an introvert, I think, just a teeny bit. But um, yeah, so Mark obviously lives with, like we live together now. We are staying at my grandparents' house for about a year. Um, we're saving up a little bit more until we move out. Hopefully I can take you guys on that journey with us. I can't wait. But until then, yeah, we're staying here. And so he moved into my room. And now, you know, everything that's kind of mine is kind of his. Mostly just the room. We share the room. But yeah, so that is one thing. Um, I mean, I can always tell him, hey, I want some time alone. I can go out into another room. I can go to another part of the house. But that is one thing that I noticed has changed and I mean we're still early in the beginning stages of being married so right now I'm kind of like hey babe love you hey snuggle snuggle but I know eventually I'm gonna be like okay I need my I need my space a little bit I'm gonna need I'm gonna need you to go to the other room or I'm gonna go to the other room eventually but yeah you have to be more aware of your significant others like needs or things like that so like when i used to leave work i was like man i'm hungry but like now that i leave work and i'm married i'm be like man i'm hungry Ooh, i should check if mark wants to eat too because you know we live together and we're like husband and wife so i gotta make sure he's not hungry either so a lot of times i you know text him and you know or call him and ask him you know hey what we eating or do you want to eat this and also like even if i go to the store and i'm like oh i need i need like toothpaste or i need um shampoo or soap or something i don't know but i was like oh let me see if mark needs something for me to, for <laughs> let me see if mark needs something and i can pick him up something and yeah it's vice versa but vice versa it's vice versa but you guys understand right so um i can't only think of myself anymore like majority of myself i always you know think of my husband also so yeah number three is men don't really want to share their things at least my man doesn't so you know like in the beginning of your relationships and things like that you know you get the sweater you get the jacket here babe wear that da, 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 da. No, when we got married, you know, what's his is mine's, and what's mine's is mine's. Obviously, everybody knows that rule. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It, you know, we share things. But, like, sometimes I run out of socks, and I just want to borrow his socks. And he is like, you need to get your own socks, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, come on. Like, we're supposed to be one. We should be able to share socks. Like, I don't, I don't understand, like. What's the big deal? It's just socks. And I don't really ask for anything else to share. I mean, I would ask to like wear his shirts if he was nicer about sharing his socks, but that's the only thing I would like to, you know, share. Like, just, just, just give me some socks and we'll be good. I mean, so, yeah. 
I guess. I didn't notice that I like to kind of just throw my things down like when I come in from work or something. Um, anywhere I see fit, the first counter I kind of see. And I feel like my husband's a little, little OCD, a little. Like he likes things to have a certain place. And I mean, I do too, but I guess I'm not as like anal about it as he is. But um, yeah, I know I, he says that I throw down my keys and then my wallet and then the bad thing about it is that I'm like searching for it later because I can't remember where I put it instead of putting it in an exact spot where I knew I could find it but it's okay because I know you love me but yeah <laughs> this is not really like a change or anything or something that I've noticed but um, I feel like communication gets a little bit harder I don't know if it's because you know you just get married and you're in the honeymoon phase or whatever they like to say um, the new wedding phase um, of being married and you kind of want to be nice and not really hurt your significant other's feelings but I feel like if you do not communicate how you feel or what you're really thinking I feel like in the end you would hurt your significant other way way more so I feel like communication we were really good at communicating and I mean I think we still are we just had like a couple bumps um when we got married like when we got back after the whole wedding and stuff like that and it was it was it was like really tiny but um i just want to point that out that communication is so so super like strong in a relationship and um like of how you're feeling mostly if you're feeling a certain way or you don't agree with something i feel like you should talk about it and not keep it in or if like you have a conversation and you're not really on board with that don't just agree to it like you know speak up and say your opinion because like it might hurt your significant other right there in the moment but in the long run you know if they love you and stuff like that they should understand they should understand because you're married or you're you know together but um they should understand and everything should work out and be okay because trust me it's way better then later finding out the person didn't mean that and then your whole cr life gets crushed i mean it won't be that dramatic but you'll i feel like you'll feel you'll be feeling more hurt in the long run than in that specific moment of them telling you right then and there so there's no expectations or no hopes and stuff like that getting crushed or yeah so okay guys so that was my last thing that i've noticed or that's happened since i became a wife sorry if this video was all over the place um i'm going to start filming much more and get better at you know <laughs> who am i kidding i'm probably gonna be all over the place my whole life but i feel like that's why y'all gonna love me because i feel like some of us is all over the place and that's okay it is okay but um yeah thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video i cannot wait to share more content with you guys and i'm just i'm so excited to be back filming Ooh, i'm so excited i don't even know what to say but yeah i hope you guys liked it i will try during editing to make anything that didn't make sense make sense and yes if you guys not have joined the family go ahead and subscribe to my channel it's that red button down below it's free you know you want to <laughs> and hit that like button also follow me on my social media majority instagram i am obsessed and i love my instagram and i'm like creating like a whole like look to it i feel like and posting positivity stuff and motivational inspiring stuff and just being real and i really hope you guys um, go check it out and you know follow me on there because I'm like obsessed. I've been like killing I feel like you know pat on my back. I've been killing the Instagram Instagram game lately. So yeah, go ahead and thank you guys again I love you guys so so much and I'll talk to you later Bye <laughs>